Hey guys, how you doing? JP Saricolia here and welcome again to another reaction video. And in today's video, we're going to cover Iron Studios. This company has released a lot of different collectibles in the past three weeks since the last time I did a video. And I'm telling you, it is amazing to see what this company is doing. They hold no bars when it comes about bringing stuff every week and bringing some cool stuff. Not from the same franchises, but different franchises. And we're going to cover as much as we can today. I want to start first with the Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings, it's a collection that definitely keeps growing. And it's doing really, really good. Now, looking at the prices here, I'm telling you, I'm not a big fan of the price of the Hobbits. $100 here. Now, if you go to uh, SciShow, they're $110. Uh, $10 more for some reason. Uh, I still think they're overpriced. There are very small figurines. And yes, these are this, you know, are a must in any collection that you have for the Lord of the Rings. But they're very tiny. And to me, it shouldn't be more than $60 or $70 the most. You know, I, I don't see why it's that it's so expensive. And yes, the likeness is there. I will tell you it's not 100%. But at the same time, keep in mind that these are no more than... Not even five inches, you know, they're really tiny, not even 12 centimeters. So they're very, very small and they look cool, though, that, you know, if you look at them, hopefully the final product looks the same as the prototype, which is, we know that it's not going to happen. And but Iron Street has been really good at kind of keeping the quality control. But looking at the, the hands of the gentleman holding this it's very small. It's a small figurine. This shouldn't be more than 60 or even $50. I, I think that they just going crazy because of the popularity of the characters. And um, that is a little bit of a bummer for sure. Now, Sam is the one that perhaps that has the mo most detail, in my opinion, because he is a bigger fella. And he has a lot of great detail. I love actually the way he they did him here with all the stuff that he's carrying. It looks really, really good. But still, I think this one I can justify a little more. But still, $100, I don't think it's worth that much. And of course, I like that he's carrying all this utensils in the back. And definitely that's detail. And we can say that the detail also adds to the price tag. But when you compare this to with the others, not only... You know, when you compare Sam, not only with Frodo, but you compare, for example, with the other two brothers, uh, Mary or Pippin, like, look, at see, you can see Mary right now. You know, there's not much to it. You know, like, it's just a tiny figure, you know? Yeah, painted right. But, you know, there's not much to it. He's only carrying his knapsack in the back, and that's about it. So, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm not really keen of the price on this one. And there's something that, of course, we have to point out. I understand the price for some things, and everything is going up. I don't understand why it's jumping so high, though. Aragon is another one, uh, $149, $150, which I wouldn't say that I'm crazy about it, but I understand, of course, Aragon is going to be bigger uh, because of the scale. But uh, looking at the, you know, the stuff, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad piece. It looks good. I will tell you, I think they did a good job with this one for such a small piece. The paint job is there, the detail in his in his clothing, in his weapons, all of that. So it's not a bad piece. This is this one. I will say I will go. Uh, you can see with the fingers, his hand in the hands, it looks bigger. So yeah, I will tell you 150. Yeah, even though it's not that cheap, I still consider it a much better investment. And then of course you got Saruman. I think Saruman is the one that really impresses me here the most. 159 to 160 dollars. This one impresses me because I think he has phenomenal detail. The base is phenomenal. Uh, the paint job is on point. The sculpt is really really good. This is a really nice piece, and I can understand the price for this one. I totally get it. But again, going back to the smaller pieces, I still think they're too expensive. But yeah, I love the detail here. Love the, the texture. Now, continue with Warner Brothers. I want to look at the stuff for DC, and we have Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad. This is $149, uh, $150, which I think is a standard price. I will tell you, I like this piece. Uh, I will The likeness, it's... I wouldn't say 100%, but it's really close. You know, for a small piece, as so a 110, I think they did a good job with it. This is another collection that is growing and is, they're doing really good with the pieces for this collection. There are big fans out there of the Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn. So I like it. Of course, it has the big smile. When you look at certain angles, it doesn't look like her. You know it's her, but it doesn't look like her, which is a given in this small pieces. But they did a good job with the detail, the paint job. Of course, her stand, the way she's walking. Uh, it looks like her for sure it has the body of her uh, just the face the mouth too big which she has a big mouth but I don't know there's some something off about the face but for you know $150 it's a 110 I think it fits the bill it, you know most people are gonna look at it they're gonna know exactly who she is they're not gonna doubt it 
Now, continuing with the DC license, we're looking at Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, and this is a really nice piece. Of course, if you're a big fan of Linda Carter, you're gonna love this one, $149.99. Sense it's 150. I think it's really good. It's, of course, this is not going to be comparable to the Blissway Prime One One Third statue. That's on a different level. But it's really close. If you're looking for something on the smaller side, I love the classic stand. It looks great. It's not 100% accurate to her on the face, but you know who she is as soon as you see it. This, of course, it is a classic outfit. Is the classic pose. I like it. The paint job is good. I can see in some angles, like this angle, for example, you can see the resemblance with the actress. Looks really good. The back, a beautiful woman. She was, and she's always going to be. She still is. And I'm telling you, they did a good job with this one. We're getting a lot of collectibles for the Wonder Woman uh, by Linda Carter, or you know, the representation of Linda Carter. And I'm amazed by it. I think she's receiving that love and she's always received that love for years. She is bigger than life and many people are always gonna kind of build that connection or make that connection between Linda Carter and the character in the comics. And it looks fantastic. This is a nice piece for sure. And looking at more of the DC stuff, we have the Merit statue, $149. We have the Aquaman, $169. And I will tell you, let's go for this too before we get into Constantine and Batgirl. Now, Mera looks great, and I will tell you, the likeness is there. When I look at the face, I think they did a fantastic job with this one. Really love the way they do with the effect of the water. That's something that the company does really, really well. One thing that I wish other companies would follow when they do the water effect. I think Iron Search is one of the best out there doing it. And it looks really good. And it looks really good. The, the detail in the hair, her face is really spot on, in my opinion, for a 110. It is really close, even closer than some of the bigger pieces. It is a really fantastic piece. I love the, the, the pose that they, they chose here. She looks very sexy, beautiful for sure. And uh, it's gonna fit really well in the collection. Now, when we're looking at Aquaman, and I will tell you the likeness, it's it's almost there. It's not 100%, but it's not a bad looking piece. Even the beard that they chose here and the way he looks in the face, you know, it's, it's not bad. Actually, it looks really good. It's really close to it. And actually, in some ways, it looks even better than the actor. To be honest it's kind of like a combination between the actor and some of the stuff that we saw on the comics back in the day back in the 90s with the beer and all of that of course now he has the brown hair all that instead of just the blonde but looks really good i love the detail now this looks like water perhaps running kind of look like ice but it's a nice touch he's definitely had a nice stand right there i think mara and him side by side are gonna complement each other really well they're gonna look fantastic together so you're building an Aquaman display. I think they're going to fit. So I, I like it. Definitely, you can see the size. I will tell. You, I will tell you this. I think it, it's worth the price. $169 for what you get in here. It looks good. He's holding his trident. Looks fantastic. I like it. Now continuing with DC, but we're gonna move into the comics. We're gonna look at Constantine, and I'm telling you, Constantine is one that I really, really like. This character looks fantastic. Did a terrific job here, and I think the price is excellent. $149.99, $150, and I love even the fire effect that they did with this clear resin. It looks amazing. I, many times I hear people saying that they don't like clear resin, that they don't like it because of this and that. But it's because they using really bad examples in order to determine why is it bad. I will tell you, again, one thing that I love about Iron Studios is anything that they do with clear resin, where there is water effect, where there is fire effect, or any effect, any power effect, they really know how to do it. And whether, you know, this come out like this, and of course I know that there's some lighting effects that make this, in this case, the resin to shine and to see, you know, be able to see through all that. You know, still it's important, you know, illumination, lighting, and it's always important in any display. But I love the way they did it here. Love, love it here. I think it looks really, really good. The paint job is amazing on the code. Constantine looks really good. It looks like Constantine for sure. This is one piece that to me was a surprise. And I think from all the pieces that I'm covering today, it's one of the ones that I like the most. And I'm not a big fan of Constantine or, you know, Hellblazer. I'm not really a big fan of the character, never been. But I think on this one, they did a fantastic job. This is a very enticing piece. I think this is a very tempting piece. One of the pieces that you will have to add at some point in your collection that is gonna make it look good. Of course, if you're into this type of characters, particularly now, I think Constantine has grown in popularity within the DC universe. It's more popular, but people really love the character. So it looks good. They did a phenomenal job with this one. All right, guys, now we're looking at Batgirl, $150 for this one. I will tell you, this is the one that perhaps some of the pieces that they have released for DC lately that I'm not as crazy. He has a sexy, playful pose. 
But to me, I would have loved to see a more action pose on this one. Not just her sitting all sexy on top of this gargoyle. You know, which is, you know, a concept that people love. So played out. Like, a lot of the times you get to see all the sexy depictions, which I, I know a lot of people love them. But at the same time, it takes away from the characters uh, as strong as they are. And I know DC is trying to build these characters to be stronger. You know, to be more in action. And I, I, I you love to see them in action. I love characters that are in action. So it's not a bad looking piece, but I'm not as impressed. And I, I seen this pose many, many times on other pieces from other companies. It's not something new. It's not something refreshing. Yes, it is a tall base because of the gargoyle and she's sitting there very sexy, but it looks so familiar. And there's, I don't know, it doesn't come to my mind right now when I'm looking at this, but it reminds me of many pieces that we have seen from that girl too. So it's not like something that it's, oh my God, it's something that I need to have in my collection. I'm sure you can find even from DC collectible, something that is kind of resembles this within the same scale as a 110. So yeah, it's just, it's fine. You know, it's not a bad piece. It's not a bad piece. Nice sculpt for sure. Nice curves, all of that. But it's not blowing my mind. It's not like, oh my God, this is something that I need to add to any 110 collection. All right, guys. But before we get into the Marvel license, I want to look at a Dracula Bella Lugosi Deluxe R scale. There are two different versions here. There is a one that is a deluxe and there is the regular, which is $139.99. The deluxe, we're going to look at that one. It's $189.99. Now, I got to tell you one thing. Not crazy about the difference in price. The price difference here is what? $50 just because of the base, not because of the sculpt. The sculpt is the same. The base, because this is a more extended base with this statue of this wolf, that is worth $50 more. I think they're just a bit crazy on that one. We're going to look at it right away. I just don't think it deserves $50 more. I, I like the statue. I think the regular statue would be best, but paying just to have this, this wolf, sculpt here or this extension here but it's almost the same looking base i don't know 50 dollars. i think they're going crazy with that it's not even an addition that in my opinion is going to add more value to the piece still you know i the likeness with the actor it's there Bella lugosi is there for sure when you look at it but i cannot justify the price for the base so i will tell you one thing as much as the wolf looks kind of neat there just go for the regular. You know, don't just waste your $50 on that. You can put the $50 towards something else. It's just not... It's not even good. I, I don't see the point. I don't know if it's even removable. It doesn't say I didn't... Maybe I didn't read it, but... You know, to me, it's like, what is the point? It takes away from it. You know, I don't see that adding $50 value to anything. Because when you compare it to the other one... And let me show you very quickly. So that way we have an idea when you compare it to this one and to be honest what is the difference i don't get it it's the same piece and actually looks cleaner like this so yeah go for this one that's the best the best choice all right guys we move now to marvel and we're gonna look at vision there's two different versions there's a white version and there's a color version whatever your choice you know if you want the white version of the one the vision show or you want just the color one i think most people are gonna go for that one i will tell you it's it looks neat but I'm not blown away by this depiction. I'm not even blown away by the cape. This is just like fabric cape. It looks kind of cheap. I'm not crazy about it. You know, this is the thing. I love Vision from, you know, back in the day when I just read comics. I love even when he was having the white custom where he was totally white. I love him there back in the 80s. I loved to read the comics then. So I will tell you that maybe the white, I will go for it as a choice. But, you know... If, unless you're building this Wanda Vision display in one that looks amazing, I think they did a fantastic job with her. So this is going to be a nice addition. He's floating in the air, all of that, and the destruction of this home, all of that. But um, I'm not necessarily impressed. You know, I think the price is fine. I'm not impressed about the piece overall. The likeness is there, but maybe it's just my impression. I, I was never impressed with the customs in the show anyway. So to me, that's probably maybe I'm biased because of that when I look at the statue. However, I'm not going to deny that they did a fantastic job in representing the character. Not crazy about the cape. It would have been nice to have actually an, you know, an sculpted cape instead of just a fabric cape. But that's just a matter of opinion. But what I really like about Marble, to be honest with you, and the stuff that I, you know, of course, we saw on the shows, is Loki. I really like the show, even though the ending wasn't as great, in my opinion, or at least the cliffhanger that they, you know, they left this, the whole season for the next season. But I really love the show. And... 
here seeing president loki this variant i'm excited for this one i like this one really looks cool now this is not if i have to choose between this and the hot toys i will go for hot toys i think hot toys has an amazing figure that would invest the money on that instead of this this little statue however if you're into this collection and you're already doing this collecting this then definitely this is not a bad choice did a fantastic job with the likeness with the actor again it's not 100 but it's i will say really close 90 95 definitely i love the detail with the base i think the price is perfect this is the part where i i always say about the stuff that they produce sometimes the prices don't make sense because they have standardized price for a lot of things they make more money with some things that are less elaborate while others are more elaborate of course but they maintain the standards i think they should price this stuff accordingly instead of just having a standard price but hey it's just a matter of opinion my opinion of course but here you have some detail even with the suit it's all damage and stuff you know which is cool love that the plants and the even flowers there there's some detail this is a very cool looking piece for sure nice detail he has skinny legs i just noticed that i, I don't know if it's just the statue of the actor in himself i don't think he does but hey it is what it is um here it's not bad i love that pose Definitely, this is a nice looking piece. It will fit very nicely in your display. Now, continue with Marvel, but now with the comic based stuff, we're going to look at Domino. And Domino, I will tell you, $159.99. I think it's a fair price. This piece I like. I, there are a couple of things that I like about it. There are a couple of things that I'm not totally blown away by it. And I think it's just the choice of the action pose, which some people may not completely like because it's totally action you're gonna to have to have an action display but if you're already on the bdsr scale you're already collecting into the you know they're doing the whole display with all the x-men versus the sentinel then definitely it's gonna fit well instead of just being totally different because that's the difference between her and i will say the deadpool that they did for this collection which he's just playing things you know he's just playing there he's not even fighting or anything so there are pieces there in that collection that don't really fit well with the whole thing this is gonna fit better because it's an action but if you want to display it separately some people may not like it because they may prefer something different a more a, a more museum pose perhaps or something like that but make no mistake i think they did a good job with this one i love the the portrait um she's in action for sure she's fighting and uh, definitely it's an interesting take on the character i like it of course i always like little weapons so <laughs> that looks really cool and uh, they did a good job of course the whole thing they did in the back all the destruction uh, it's not a bad piece looks good uh, the paint job is good you know it's a basic paint job but it's well done uh, so it's another plus now i want to talk about lady deathstrike and lady deathstrike i will tell you one thing i am not blown away by her i think the price is fine 159 dollars 99 cents my problem that i have with this piece and i read some comments people saying online but i agree with them actually i was thinking even before i read the comments i was thinking the same thing not crazy about the portrait it's a beautiful portrait she looks pretty somehow you know somewhat but it is not the way i envision lady death strike lady death strike has always been more brave and so that's just like this macabre kind of look on her like she's really she's a killer she looks like a killer here she looks like a pretty girl that she's kind of bore to death or something i don't know it doesn't look i think this is one thing that they could have just they can improve to make it look better you know i don't know she doesn't look like ready for a fight you know she's just there you know kind of posing you know a little bit bored about the whole thing and the besides that everything else looks fine you know i had no problem with her hands and you know the way she has of course her her claws all of that i had no problem with that i like the base the, the destruction there there's something about the the piece that it's still not 100 percent catching the essence of the character it's not so there's something that needs some work and at this angle she even looks younger than she really is in the comics how she's portrayed in the comics so yeah it's just it's just something you know now from the back looks fantastic a lot of things you know the detail the paint job is good you know the sculpt is good the only thing that they need to work on is on that portrait it looks more like x23 than lady dead strike that's that's for sure all right guys so we continue on and i want to talk about alpha 5 which is this of course if you're a fan of the mighty Morphin power rangers then you're going to love this one there's two different versions the deluxe is the one that comes with the most things so it's 129.99 the other one is 100 just the regular one but the deluxe version comes with this panels in the back 
uh, which I think they're fitting. I think this is nice. If you already have the other collection, you're already collecting the others, then definitely you need to add this to the whole collection. I think th I'm not a big fan of the, the Power Rangers. I wasn't because, of course, that was not necessarily my generation. I watched the show when it came out because there was nothing else to watch on TV. Not because I was impressed or because I was in love with it. I was already a teenager or a little older than a teenager. So, so it's not like I was impressed. But uh, to be honest with you, when I'm looking at it, I think they did a phenomenal job in bringing Alpha 5 looks really good the detail is there the paint job is there the only thing that would be missing is light up features and stuff it doesn't need it really but it would be nice but they did a good job with this one i can justify already collecting the other ones and definitely this needs to be added to the collection all right guys so now i want to move to prince adam uh, mass of the universe this is the first piece that they're releasing for this collection and a lot of people are really anticipating this people are excited for this and you cannot blame them. You know, I'm definitely looking forward to it. The, the thing is this, they have some of the touch of the kind of modern take. But at the same time, they're trying to stay true to the to the cartoons, to the animation. And I like that because we know that what Twitterhead is doing. And I, I'm definitely looking forward to the to what Twitterhead is going to do for 1.6. Looking forward to that. But as a 110, I think this kind of fits the bill really nicely. And I really like Prince Adam. Looks really nice here. It looks really good. The paint job is excellent. The pose they chose is really, really good. I've seen the mock-ups for Skeletor. The stuff that, you know, they're planning to do. He's going to be sitting on a throne. For some reason, they love the throne teams for the villains. And But, you know, it is what it is. But I like what they're doing here. And the potential for this license, for this collection to grow, is there. And I, so far, it looks cool. This one looks really, really cool. I think the price is fair. One's hundred and sixty dollars. Looks really good. There's no switches, but I think just as it is, it's just a standalone piece. Looks really great. Even if you don't get into the whole collection, as a standalone piece, it's gonna look really fine. So I like it. All right, guys, and finally, we're moving into the Back to the Future collection, and of course, we have this new three pieces here. This is the, at the Iron Studios website. They only have the separate pieces, and also they have the separate DeLorean from the Back to the Future three. They have it at separate pieces but if you come to sideshow we're gonna go to sideshow you can buy the whole set together the price for this one is 149 dollars 99 cents per piece i think it's fair the price for the delorean is two thousand dollars and to be honest with you it is ridiculous it is ridiculous that they're doing that i'm sorry i'm sorry but i don't know what they're thinking i love duck brown he looks fantastic i love that he's holding that big rifle it looks really cool and neat I think it's deserving of that. I've been loving this collection. I have never been crazy about the DeLorean prices. The previous DeLorean, the same way. This one is the same way. It's just not worth that much money. And that really hurts these pieces because believe me, they, they look really good. They look really, really good. And I don't know what is it, the, the mindset of doing this. Now we're looking at Marty McFly. I like the likeness here. I think this one is even closer, better likeness of the previous statue that they did. I like this one. I, it's a nice, nice concept, nice depiction. It looks really good with the actor. You know, of course, you're going to need pick here and there, but the paint job is excellent. I can, I can see the price, but on the DeLorean, I'm just like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I, and I try to understand. I try to be as forgiving as possible, but $2,000, when we're looking at just the most recent a DeLorean that's been produced by Hot Toys for one six scale figures. That one came out and it's out now on pre-order on SciShow. It's eight hundred and what fifty dollars perhaps. That is nothing in comparison. It's a one six scale with light up features with everything. It's just perfect. And of course, it's not based on the third film, but on the second film. But still, it's a much better addition, and I would say a much better investment overall than this i just don't see it and of course there's always gonna be somebody that's gonna pay the price i just don't see the point and i i don't know two thousand dollars for this when you can actually even get yourself a die cast model for you know a fraction of that you know it just it's just ridiculous to me that they what they're asking for this type of pieces nowadays it is not a bad representation i like the detail all of that as a 110 still not it's not gonna be that small because you know it's, it's through to the scale but still, you know, it's just it's so much to it that I just don't see. Now I'm here at SciShow so I can show you the full set. Now, if you buy the full set, it's actually cheaper. It's $2,250. I like the display. I like the cost. I like what they're trying to do. At the same time, it's just hard for me to see the price that they're asking for it. It's just, I don't see it. I just don't see it. For the price of this, I can buy two sets of the DeLorean 
and the figures to go alongside it as a 1-6 scale. Of course, you're a 1-6 collector, a 110 is a big difference. 110 collectors may not have the space for 1-6. But to me, it would be like, where can I smartly invest my money? Where I can invest my money that it's going to be the smart move. I will go for the 1.6 any day of the week instead of the 110. So I don't know. It's just, it's just the thing that I feel that I, I, they just, I just don't get it. And, you know, I love, I love this company. I'm not going to deny. I love Iron Studios. I think they are doing terrific as a company. It's just sometimes some of the decisions they're making leave me surprised. Sometimes I don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't understand why they're trying to do. And I under, I totally see that the prices in the world and the shipment and the fabric, you know, the, the, this case, the manufacturer in China is going up. It's so much craziness happening. And these companies have to deal with it on a daily basis. They have to deal with these factories. So they have to deal with all the production costs. But at the same time, I feel like they have to find common ground to to really give what customers want without just killing the the wallets of the customers because at the end of the day you want your customers to be happy and satisfied because that way they will come back to you you know you want that business coming over and over and over instead of just being people being feeling like jaded about it or feeling like they they are not getting their money's worth and they walk away go to the next company you want to avoid that so this is something that has been happening for quite some time with uh, iron studios a lot of people have voice their opinion of course they still selling the product they still having clients people are still in love with the products but you know there's always that honeymoon period where everybody's in love with something until every the reality hits and then companies are facing more backlash and more criticism and of course competition because more fierce because there's other companies also competing for that market for that space so we'll see what happens but ultimately i will tell you i love the art i'm just not keen on some of the prices here I feel that, it, you know, some prices I understand that they need to go up, but some prices are not justifiable in my opinion. And of course, uh, some of the smaller pieces being so expensive, and of course, in this case, the DeLorean being extremely expensive, it's just not flying for me. It's just not the right thing. But what is your opinion, my friends? What do you think about my, my opinion? What do you think about what I'm saying here today? Are you agreeing with me, disagreeing with me? Do you think I missed something? Is anything here that you love and you're going to pre-order, you already pre-order? Let me know. In the comments below so once again my friends thanks for watching don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe to the channel hit the notification button to reminder of the next video follow me on social media facebook twitter instagram the links are down below and please consider supporting the channel financially through patreon my friends god bless you take care i will talk to you again bye, -bye.